the man. I want to be you. The myth. The legend. Nick Cannon is back in D.C. What happened? And this morning, the triple threat is taking over Fox 5. We have a show to do. He's live in the loft for the next 60 minutes, and we are pulling out all the stops for this special homecoming. So pull up a chair and bump up the volume. I'm about to talk some talk. Because Good Day at 9A starts right now. What's popping? Brand new whip. Ooh, I think we're popping. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Today and every day, but especially a good day, DC. It is 9 o'clock on the dot on this Tuesday, November 16th. That means it is homecoming time, and that means it's time to welcome our co host for the next 60 seconds. Y'all ready? 60 minutes. The one and only <laughs> Nick Cannon! I said, yeah, yeah, okay. every yeah. player has a good theme uh, <laughs> song that they walk in and out of. Nowhere okay. I Drum lines Can everywhere. Can you still master okay. the sticks, Nick? I mean, I'm high. <laughs> About 20 okay. years ago. Yeah. So I'm not as fast as, uh, as Devin Miles was. Yeah. But, uh, I still got it. Thank you guys for having me. This well, was awesome. Well, well, look, we appreciate you coming in and spending time with us this We've morning. been talking about it. I mean, yeah. Listen. But, it's well, almost like I'm here. It's a surprise that you were coming. We almost didn't know. No. <laughs> no, it's good to have you. We expect nothing less than that entrance. And I know a lot of the folks have been really excited about having you come, especially your, your HU friends. You know, you know it. <laughs> it's all love. I mean, this, the DMV is is home for me. I mean, from so many uh, years, but then specifically, obviously, my, my Howard experience is yeah. really just near and dear. So I, I'm, I'm here always. I feel like I'm just down the block. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, you know what? We got to get real with you. Oh, okay. All right. Why not? Okay. Why not? You ready? I'm, what, okay. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm giving you a heads up. No, no, no. Right, we right. Here. Listen, it's, uh, it's 9.02, and that means it's time to get candid with Nick Cannon. He's a man who's, who's made maybe a couple headlines here and there. Whatever he talks about gets a lot of people talking. So let's start with, with the easy stuff here. You're back in D.C. We've yes. called it a homecoming. Yes, softball. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. softball question here. So how has it been to, to be back in, home in many ways? I feel like I, I, you know, I came up even before I went to Howard. I mean, I, I got a chance to do a lot of performing and even comedy and stuff when I was a kid through DC and you know in the the first person that actually introduced me to the DMV uh, God rest his soul is the one and only DJ Biz Marquee. Oh. He, he lived here and I was, I think I was about 17 years old when uh, I got a chance to, you know, move around with him and I used to like carry his DJ crates and his, that's when you had to carry oh, crates on right. yeah, yeah. He yeah. taught me how to DJ, taught me a lot about uh, hip hop and interestingly enough, Will Smith introduced me to, to Biz Marquee oh, wow. and I kind of went on the road with Biz and, you know, we kind of, I, I stayed out here because I was, I was a kid just trying to entertain right. so I was, I was literally sleeping on Biz's couch, uh, you know, in Maryland. So it was, a, it was a beautiful situation. And, you know, I have family in Baltimore. So I've, I've kind of, you know, been through here for quite a bit. So it's good. Thank you for allowing me to have this as a second home. And then obviously my, my Howard experience. Yeah. 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 Strong four years right. living here. So it was good. Well, that's good you did it in four. Most of us, I mean, some of us <laughs> do it take a little bit longer. You know, we kind of save at the moment like fine wine. We kind of hang out a little bit. What do they call it, super senior? Yeah, well, super senior. Senior, professional duper, student. Duper, super duper, professional <laughs> student, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Uh, so your show, yes. this is a new thing for you, kind of, because you've, you've done some of everything, but your yeah. show. Tell us about your show, and you're on the road trying to connect people to your show. Man, it's a blessing. I really want to make a show uh, for the community, for the people, by the people, amongst the people. So that's uh, <laughs> that's really why I wanted to, to get out and really, you know, kind of touch everybody to let them, everybody know I'm not like your typical 
talk show hosts where, you know, they might be in this bubble and you never get to see them or touch them. I really right. want to be somebody that you can connect with and feel like, you know, even like, like even when I was here at Howard, people would be surprised that I'd just be sitting in class and <laughs> walking through the yard and be like, yo, where's your security? I'm like, this is just me. Like, yeah. and it's just how I move. So uh, I really believe, you know, I wanted to make a show for the culture, for the people and do it the way that I wanted to do it. And, and I think that's what you get every day. I yeah. mean, you see that I'm genuinely having fun and it's all about exuding yeah. joy. You know, and, and I mean, you guys do it all, every, every day here. I, I watch how you guys move. You're, you're, you're fun, you smile, you laugh, and you're down to earth people, but you don't always get that vibe. So mm -hmm. I want to at least make sure that people really feel that connection and that authenticity. Yeah, you definitely bring that to the space. And I remember you saying that you don't just talk about pop culture, you create it, because create. you're always somebody's hot topic. <laughs> Somebody. We've talked about you several times. Yeah. The family. Yes. How are you going to split your time over the holidays <laughs> from all See, these that's kids. the thing. Everybody talking about splitting and cutting up. I'm the whole pie. Oh, you know, you get the okay. whole, you get all of me and all my kids. <laughs> we ain't got to get a piece. We all going to be together uh, amongst each other. I mean, and that's really what it is. I mean, when having family and having that opportunity to, I mean, it's unorthodox. I think, you know, I, I, I grew up with the unorthodox family, so I'm kind of used to, you know, moving around. Uh, and ultimately, you know, it's not just about a day. That's the beautiful thing. Yeah. If, if the holidays was just one day, it'd probably be a little difficult. <laughs> uh, but the fact that we get, you know, uh, some time to kind of spread it out. And, yeah. you know, sometimes it'll be with all my kids. Sometimes it'll be here and there. Really, I'm still my mama's kids. So I got to figure <laughs> out, you know, what she doing. She calling yeah. the shots, moms and grandmother yeah. and everything. I'm so we're all good. We, we follow the matriarch. Yeah. Okay. I'm curious. I've seen a lot of your interviews. You get asked about this a lot. Do yeah. you, first off, are you surprised at the reaction you've gotten? And secondly, do you regret sharing uh, about the children and all that? It's funny. I mean, one thing I say, and I don't, you know, because I don't get in nobody else's business. <laughs> uh, but it's, to me, it's not really out of the norm. Uh, and and it's, it's, I feel like I'm just probably more open and vocal about yeah. it and really accepting because I really try to live a transparent life and not really have much to hide. I don't, I, I, I take pride in, in know the value of being authentic and being able to, to be your true self. I mean, even once you go through therapy and, and you sit down and you talk things out, you feel like, yo, I just want to be me. Mm -hmm. And something, you know, you're not, you're not going to be proud of everything that I do or how I move or, you know, everybody plays by different rules, but whatever works and allows you to operate through love. So I, I feel like I might overshare at times and I do that <laughs> on my show all the time, just yeah. be talking about so much stuff, but it's really because that's my authentic self. And, you know, it, I, I hope to get it right. I know mm -hmm. I'm not going to get it right every time. And however it's laid out there, I always say, don't charge it to my heart because mm. at, the, at the end of the day, I'm just trying to be the best me. I'm trying to do it better than I did it yesterday. All okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and here's the thing, uh, you're, you're not leaving. You're I gonna ain't going nowhere. I'm here all because hour. What, what me and a lot of other people want to know is, uh, how in the world do you deal with all of these ladies? <laughs> what, the kids? Don't, don't, don't tell me. That's what I want to know. Because I got the... one and I'm, you know, I'm struggling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. Okay. That's off the record. We can talk about that later. So we'll we can... write a book. With yeah, you. you can write a book about it. Okay, and I'll follow your lead on that. Yeah. So you're going to answer later and let it marinate? I'm going to let it marinate. I got I to think it. I got to go, uh, you know, text a few people say, is it all right? <laughs> 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 Time now is 9.08. And we have so much more coming up with the one and only Nick Cannon coming up. But for now, let's send it over to Holly, who's in the kitchen for a look at what else we have in store. Nick, I just want, I know we, we cook like this every day. <laughs> what makes this evening special? No, this is totally special. This kitchen is hopping just for you, and we don't only have a good meal coming on. You might need to loosen those pants a little bit. But we also have three surprises. One you don't know about for you, one you're doing for some people from Howard, and then something else. Right. I might not even know what it is. Anyway, it's going to be a whole lot of fun because Nick Cannon is in the house. Back to you guys. Yeah, nice. it's your homecoming. I'm here. I'm here. Let's this send it awesome. over now to Steve for a check on today's Top 5 at 9. Hey guys, we'll get back to the homecoming in just a second. I want to hit you up with a few top stories. First of all, we're going to start in Montgomery County, which might be getting ready to mask up once again. Today, the county has the potential to mark seven straight days of substantial transmission of COVID-19. And if those numbers hold, the mandate would be reinstated on Saturday. Jury deliberations begin today in the Kyle Rittenhouse case. He is accused of shooting and killing two people and injuring another during the protests in Kenosha, Wisconsin last year. Yesterday, a judge dismissed a misdemeanor gun charge against the suspect. 
President Biden heading to New Hampshire today, one day after putting pen to paper, signing into law the $1.2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure bill. It's the largest hard in